Hello everyone, and welcome to my young and restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The Young and the Restless Recap for today will broadcast on Friday, October 4, 2024 in the United States and one day earlier in Canada. Our Y and R recaps are posted every weekday. As Adam leaves the restaurant with takeaway, Sally enters. With a curt greeting, she is ready to move by him. Adam motions for her to halt. He would want to speak for a moment, but he is foaming to find out the whereabouts of the contract he desired. As Chelsea enters, she overhears him warning them that adjustments would be made if they don't get in line. Chelsea places a hot tea order. In the dining room, Chance and Summer are chatting and having fun when Phyllis enters. Summer asks her mom what's wrong. She can sense she's unhappy. Phyllis takes a seat and breaks the bad news. Sharon apologizes to Lucy and Daniel for their horrible loss and really hopes they would accept her sympathies. They're still trying to take it all in, according to Daniel. Sharon gives a nod and inquires as to if they know how it happened. Heather had been discovered in the river. She had heard. They're not yet ready to discuss it, according to Daniel. Lucy queries why Sharon is posing so many queries. She's giving the impression that it wasn't an accident. Daniel claims that everything that happened was a terrible accident. Lucy queries Sharon about her recommendations. How much does she know? She should let them know if she knows anything since her mother didn't return home last night. After telling Lucy to wait in the car while he speaks with Sharon, Lucy becomes agitated and exits. Daniel queries Sharon's sanity. She wants to question him about how she passed away, and he recently lost the lady he loves. Sharon apologizes after stuttering. It doesn't matter what she says, according to Daniel. He needs to be allowed to grieve in solitude. He had to inform his daughter about her mother's passing. Enraged, Daniel storms out of the park. Summer queries how it came to pass. Daniel may not have done this if Heather hadn't contacted him. Perhaps they had spoken face to face. Chance says he's going to make a phone call and will give them a minute. He departs so they may converse. Summer breaks down in tears for Lucy and Daniel and informs her mother. Their entire way of life has changed. She advises her to visit Daniel immediately. I agree with Phyllis that Summer ought to visit Daniel. Summer rises and gets ready to go. She announces to Chance that she is heading out to speak with her brother. Later, she will speak with him. Chance instructs her to go with a nod. He tells Phyllis that it's excellent that she would speak with Daniel since, from what he's heard over the phone, Daniel will require as much assistance as possible. Phyllis queries what he discovered. Chance warns that Daniel will regrettably experience much more suffering and confusion as a result of this. Adam expresses his curiosity in Sally's well-being. Sally claims that things are much better now, and she wants things to stay that way. Just leave her alone, please. She's now at a point where her agony isn't constant. Adam claims that he still thinks about Sally all the time. Sally advises him to move on, saying that although it's difficult for her to move past it, especially because she still feels strongly about it, it will eventually become more of a memory. She remembers what she's been trying so hard to forget as Adam stops her and wants to chat. Adam advises her to quit ignoring the messages her heart is attempting to convey. Sally claims she can't do it. That's how Adam survived, and it hurts too much. Chelsea and Billy sit and converse. Billy informs Chelsea that he needs to tell her something. During a family meeting, he and Victoria informed the children that they were no longer together. He blamed it on his work and told them what he had told Connor. Chelsea queries how they handled it. Billy claims that Johnny already knew and that they handled it well. It was Connor who had informed him. Chelsea queries whether Johnny mentioned anything regarding Connor's mental health. Did Connor accuse himself? Billy shakes his head. Connor was okay, according to Johnny. That's a relief, adds Chelsea with a smile, and Connor appears to be enjoying himself with her. She praises him for talking to Connor about it. Billy says he was glad to. Connor is a wonderful young man. He wonders how Chelsea is and expresses gratitude that Connor is improving. Chelsea claims to be alright. 
She wonders if this is how it's going to be from now on. Talking like casual acquaintances. Billy gives a shrug. He is unsure. Maybe with time, it will become simpler. It might not be a huge concern if they are able to see one other. That's what he has to think. Chance is asked by Phyllis how things may go worse for Daniel. Chance claims he talked to a police department buddy who told him the entire autopsy report should be out shortly. He claims that autopsies may be cruel, gruesome, and difficult for a person, particularly if the victim is someone they love. Daniel is not going to like what he hears, report or no report. Phyllis nods and remarks that Summer is fortunate to have Chance in her life since Chance stood by her side when Phyllis failed and deserves recognition for saving her. Chance claims that Summer can rely on him at all times. He has been there for Summer, and he is happy to help. He queries Phyllis about, is there someone she can rely on? Phyllis is surprised. She claims that Nick is skilled at answering her and removing her from the ceiling. Chance is pleased about that but notes that Nick isn't there at the moment. Nick, according to Phyllis, will arrive shortly. She also praises Chance for considering her. She promises that although it was difficult for her to inform Summer about it, she will be all right. Chance nods. He declares that he will visit the station to check what other information is available. Phyllis grins and thanks him. Chance walks out of the bar. Chelsea confides in Billy that it saddens her to think that they would never be at ease together. Billy replies he feels the same way, nodding. Adam enters the coffee house and says he didn't expect to see them there together, knowing how Billy turned his back on Chelsea. He queries the situation. Billy instructs Adam to keep going since it's none of his concern. Adam claims he doesn't follow Billy's instructions. Billy queries Adam's plan of action. Will he strike in one more Chelsea exhales? However, she questions Adam's striking of Billy. Adam tries to clarify that things became a little heated because Billy overreacted after hearing him and Chelsea conversing. Chelsea finds it unbelievable. Billy overreacted. Adam claims that while Billy had no idea what they were discussing, he felt he had said something hurtful to her that had offended her. Chelsea queries why they got into a fight over her. Adam claims that Billy believed he had the right to pry into their affairs. Chelsea might have been offended by Connor, but Billy accused him right away. Billy claims that Adam is unable to stop using Connor's predicament as leverage to get her time and attention. He's hoping Chelsea won't put up with Adam trying to control her. Billy gets up and walks out of the coffee shop. Adam is asked what's wrong by Chelsea. Is he attempting to make her life miserable? Adam queries what he's destroying. A private discussion with someone who has already abandoned her. Chelsea claims that because of what they did, they cannot evaluate Billy's actions because they were having a private chat. Adam hopes she isn't wishing for Billy to pardon her and accept her back. Does she honestly believe that is possible? Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.